planes of the body. So you can think of planes of the body as imaginary two-dimensional surfaces that divide the body into different sections. So why would we use planes to begin with? Well, we're trying to orientate either a reader or a viewer about a specific point of view, location, or type of motion that the author is trying to get across. For example, if I told you, hey, I just moved my shoulder, they wouldn't really mean a lot to you because I can move my shoulder in lots of different ways. I can go from bottom to top, I can go from side to side, I can rotate it. But if I told you I move my shoulder in the sagittal plane, you know for sure I was moving my shoulder in this kind of direction. So it helps us all get on the same page. And speaking of being on the same page, it's very important to remember if we're talking about planes of the body, we're always assuming the body or the patient is an anatomical position. This is our key reference. This is what we're starting at. We're all trying to get on the same page. So we think of the anatomical position and then we use the planes to get into more specifics, more detail. So let's get into the planes and how to remember them real easy. So the trick to remember how these planes intersect and divide the body is real simple. All you have to do is look at the first letter of each of the planes and they'll remind you of where they're located. So for example, the frontal plane divides the body from front to back. So you see the F in frontal and that reminds you of front to back. The sagittal plane divides the body from side to side. So we see the S in sagittal and that reminds us of side to side. The transverse plane divides the body from top to bottom. So we see that T in transverse and that reminds us of top to bottom. The last type of planes is called an oblique plane and it's basically any plane taken at an odd angle. So the way we think about that is we just think of the O in oblique and that reminds us of odd angles. So again, real simple trick. All you have to do is look at the first letter of each of these planes and I'll remind you of how it's dividing and intersecting the body. All right, that covers the planes of the body. If you want to see how this idea translates to motion and kinesiology, I got a great video for you, the planes of motion right here. If you need some good luck vibes for your next test, just leave me a comment below and I'll always hit you back. As always, thanks for watching. And of course, good luck on your next test.